begin transcribe log. At the time of recording, it is currently the 27th of Eden's Grave at approximately 7.23 p.m. The purpose of this log is to document durability test run 18 of alloy lot number 3245. The desired goal of this material is to form an effective heat sink in order to combat an overheating issue within harmonic score number 2, the details of which are recorded in archival log number 43. The specifications of alloy 3245 are as follows. After the failure of several fortification rooms during recent tests, it was determined that a more cost-effective method of dispersing heat was needed. As the repair cost of using ruins was deemed an unnecessary expense. After some experimentation, a hypothesis was created. I theorized that electroplating the internal crystalline structure of the innermost rings with a fine weave of boracalcum fibers will act as both a sufficient heat sink as well as a funnel for the excess energy to power other key systems within the machine. In theory, this would provide a 0.7% increase in overall power management. Should the experiment be a success, the arcane forging techniques used to create alloy 3245 are recorded within material log 14. The material composition is also contained therein for posterity and replication purposes. To test the material durability of alloy 3245, an electrical current of approximately 5% of the machine's total output will be passed through a 1 by 1 cube of the material and any reactions will be observed from behind an abjuration barrier rated for both high voltage and flying debris. The cables are in good condition and are being attached to the material now. The cable is attached and I will be stepping away and abjuring a barrier to interpose between myself and the material at a reliable distance. have been found. Opening the circuit in three, two, one. Um, pause transcription and erase last line. Await further instruction. I don't recall any deliveries or talks scheduled for today. And no notes in my day planner either. Curious. Perhaps a lost student. Although orientation must have covered the internal structure of the facility, 
as unusual as it might be. Perhaps I have a visitor, and they are rude. Wonderful. I certainly hope you have a sufficient reason for interrupting my work. If you will direct your attention to the door you were striking entirely too hard, you will notice a very prominently displayed sign that simply bears the words, Do Not Disturb, in very legible text, which you appear to have ignored in its entirety invalidating the entire reason of having a sign altogether. I can only assume you are here for some manner of clerical duty, possibly requiring a signature for requested goods. Though I did specify in my requisition directory that all personal deliveries must be forwarded to the quartermaster's office on sub-level 2, so I might retrieve them at my own convenience. Precisely for this reason, as a matter of fact, as exploring this unnecessary tangent has cost time, and therefore productivity that can be better spent elsewhere. You shall excuse me for being overly direct. However, I am currently rapidly approaching the limit of effort that I wish to expend on this interaction, so I will simply ask this. What do you want? A letter. It bears the seal of the directorate. Lead researcher, it is with pride that the high seats of the directorate write to inform you that the mandatory minimum amount of researchers for your project, codenamed Dreamcatcher, have been secured, and your project has been officially recognized by the Directorate and the Nation of Anthem. We hope that the project bears fruit and encourage you to rise beyond and surpass limitation. Amaranthine Ambition from the desk of the Directorate of Anthem Institute. That is... concerning. I made no such formal request for recognition, and yet the Directorate had agreed to treat this venture of artifice as an... official project, despite it being registered as a personal endeavor that, alongside their misgivings of the field of artifice in its entirety, brings an unfortunate sense that one or more persons within stations of power are concealing their motivations. I wonder if this is an attempt to scrutinize the project, perhaps to gain intel in order to leverage it later. I had hoped to avoid this by privatizing it entirely, yet it seems some eyes still linger on me. Hmm? Ah, I apologize. I forgot you were standing there entirely. It is of no consequence. Other matters required my attention. Based on the contents of this letter, it appears you have been selected to work under me as a research aide in this project. This is acceptable. Follow me inside, if you will, and mind the cables. It is a bit unkempt. A busy workplace is the mark of a busy mind, so do try not to trip and disrupt anything. I understand you might be feeling lethargic from your long journey. However, there are a few subjects to discuss before any continuation may occur. 
You seem surprised. It is rather obvious that you are not from Anthem. Your eyes are unusual. Not the gray typical of pure bloods. But being a hybrid is not enough evidence to reach that conclusion. Indeed, the most compelling supporting factor is that you lack an Ilya tattoo on your left arm. All citizens of Anthem possess one, and the fact that you do not marks you as a foreigner. I would hypothesize, based on your bone structure, facial features, and that you smell like rain, that you originate from the bronze tops. Is that an accurate assessment? I thought so. Well, of course I factored in your scent. We gather information and come to conclusions based on what we can perceive in the world around us. So, I think such a smell would be needed in order to make an educated judgment, just as much as sight or any other sense. In any case, allow me to formally welcome you into the fold. I am Alyosha Tavriz, the lead researcher of Project Dreamcatcher. Actually, the only researcher. Since I was unaware you even existed, I have unfortunately not prepared any fanfare for your arrival. So, if you feel the need, you may clap for yourself. And that's quite enough. With that out of the way, I must inform you that you have arrived at an inopportune moment during a test of a new material that I believe will be of use to the project as a whole. By my approximation, 32 minutes of progress has been lost since your arrival, and in the interest of preserving time, I desire to make some progress with what little of it remains. So, your first task as a research aide is to put on this eye protection and stand behind this barrier until the test is concluded, after which we will document the results. A simple routine that is the cornerstone of invention. Now, if you would stay right there, I shall continue from where I left off. Resume transcription. Research was temporarily halted by the arrival of a research aide bearing an official letter from the directorate that will be recorded in the after-action report at the conclusion of testing. I will now resume the test of Alloy 3245. As a reminder, this test will be using approximately 5% of the temporary core's maximum output. I am opening the circuit in 3, 2, 1. Circuit is fully open. No noticeable change in the material structure. A new development. Two seconds ago, the fibers of orichalcum within the material have begun to emit light, and are now growing in intensity at a steady rate. I presume the material is reacting to the immense heat generated by the core, and the fibers are compensating for the... Yeah, closing circuit. It appears that Alloy 3245 has failed to disperse the heat, and has instead shattered. The test is considered a failure, and the cause of this will be given in the after-action report. End transcription, and catalog into archival log 44. 
It seems this was not a successful test. That is unfortunate. I believe that a solution to my issue would be reached with this experiment. There is no need to apologize. Clearly the material was flawed, if nothing else. Possibly from its very conception. Much like giraffes in a way. Yes, they are incredibly impractical animals. Are you aware that a newborn giraffe needs to be dropped from a typical standing height of its species to both break the amniotic sac and shock it into breathing? Horribly inefficient creatures. Nah, I digress. This does give you an opportunity to assist me in finding out what went wrong in the experiment and hopefully how to improve upon it in future tests. Uh, come with me if you please. Let us begin by examining the pieces of what remains in order to find a cause of the failure. Be careful not to cut yourself as you pick them up. They can be quite sharp. Very good. Now, let us take a more detailed look. Ah, a delamination has occurred between the orichalcum fibers and the rest of the material. No doubt as a result of the heat generated. Hmm? Is that not obvious to you? Ah, I see. You do not have a way to detect magic without using a spell. Yes, I can do it through this lens. An enchanted piece of artifice that allows me to see beyond the normal range and scope of, of unassisted sight. I fashioned it from an existing enchanted item and added the additional features myself through the use of artifice to bond mechanical attachments that augment its original design into something more practical. It is a useful application and serves as a small example of how artifice can be used in normal study. However, this field is not well received within Anthem. I am remiss to say that you have joined a controversial and not openly respected project, while still worthy of the title of mages, artificers are not as palatable as other spellcrafters here. Citizens of Anthem adhere to the old ways, where we draw deeply from the roots of the hierarchy of divinity and hold steady to the purpose of humanity. But now is not the time for a history lesson. Perhaps during a break, but for now we have some cleaning to do, and then the test must be logged and reported. Now that it is a officially recognized project, the Directorate will be expecting updates periodically. Seeing as how there are now two researchers, I put forward the suggestion that we split the duties. I will begin writing the updates while you clean up the workplace. And do make sure to place the remnants of Alloy 3245 in the receptacle there for recycling. Ah, yes, I had almost forgotten as well. Welcome, researcher. I look forward to working with you. And on that subject, let's get back to work. <laughs>